Yo, what's good everybody? Welcome back to the channel. How y'all doing? Hi to kids. I am Q, the Costa Rican, and today we have another Pokemon Sword. No, we don't. We have another Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl Wi-Fi battle coming your way. Today, we went to look for some randoms in random ass union rooms to see if uh, we could f try and get a battle. And we did find one, and it was a little bit of a short battle, so I decided to do this team builder after the fact, but you're seeing it before the fact, you know what I'm saying? Either way, we got Specs Frost last. It kind of goes in. Ice Beam, Shadow Ball, Thunderbolt, Spikes. I just figured I was running out with the Focus Sash and the... Yeah, I guess that's the Focus Sash for us last lot. So I just wanted to try something out different. So we're Specs uh, with the good old... Does it show with Specs? It does show with Specs. We're Specs. Good old uh, Timid Nature, Ice Beam, Shadow Ball, Thunderbolt. Bolt Beam is very spammable in this... Uh, in just any... In just in this gen. I don't like It's just so good. It's just super good. Up next, we have Yachi Berry. Um, Adam and Dragonite with the Outrage Extreme Speed D-Dance Earthquake. Hello, how you doing? How to kids? This Dragonite is very destructive. If let, if let to just dance without any repercussions, this man is going to just sweep the whole team. Up next, we got Scarf Infernape. Yes, you heard that right. Scarf for Speed Control. Close Combat Flare Blitz Mock Punch. You turn, you might be asking yourself, Q, why would you want to be Mock Punch Choice Scarf? Well, you never know. There might be a scenario. You know what I'm saying? You never know. Up next, we have Choice Banded Weavile with no Icicle Crash because I'm dumb. We have Ice Shard, Ice Punch, Night Slash, and Brick Break. Hello, how you doing, Hada Weaviles? And then, um, Leftovers Metacham with High Jump Kick, Zen Headbutt, Bullet Punch, and Fake Out. I was really having a, a problem thinking, like, what item to run on this. I was like, ooh, Life Orb. Like, Life Orb's good, but I was like, do I really want to take Life Orb Chip after Fake Out? You know what I mean? I feel like I'd rather heal up some HP, but I don't know. Maybe in the future, I'll bring a nice, a more... A more offensive item oriented to meta champion. Is that the last one? Nope. Last but not least, we have Lead Aerodactyl with Stealth Rock, Stone Edge, Earthquake, and Taunt. This can kind of, not 1v1, but can kind of like counteract other um, hazard stacking leads, such as the Sash Frost Last, such as uh, As Elf, such as all that good stuff. So we can either get up our rocks first or Taunt first and then get up our rocks. And Edge Quake is just really good coverage against a lot of. Uh, Offensive lead such as like Scarf and Fernape or not even well, I guess they would lead if they were leading Scarf and Fernape They're, they're u-turning, you know what I mean? So that's not a big deal, but um, Still good for a lot of counter leads is what I'm trying to say. So either way that is the team um, If you all are new to the channel go ahead and click that subscribe button if you want more Pokemon BDSP content We do have a lot of draft leagues going up very recently very recently very soon They're gonna be starting underway So if that's something that'll interest you by all means click that subscribe button and join the fucking Costa Rican family I don't know what I'm saying. Yeah, we'll see you guys in the battle Yo, so we found this random person, right? I just went to random battles, and they got full legendaries. Of course they do, but Weavile goes all the way in. All right, cool. So, <laughs> all right, this guy is uh, full legendary squad. Five out of six of them look like they're genned in. But, you know, who knows what's going to happen. I'm thinking I might lead off with Specs Frostlass, because it kind of just gets a kill against anything that's not Blaziken. Blaziken. Uh, Dialga is what I mean to say. Or I could just lead off with the Aerodactyl and get Rockers up. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Because I doubt they have a Defogger. Yeah, let's just do that. Let's just lead with the Arrow. Choice Ban Weavile looks insane here. After I get rid of uh, the, the water thing. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. This looks fun. Can a standard team beat an Uber team? Let's find out. Because they got nothing but Ubers. Garchomp is an Uber. In case you didn't know. They do lead off with the Kyogre. So we'll but see if it's scarfed or not. I kind of want to um, just attack it now, but I also want to get up rocks because rocks go a long way for a lot of their team. I doubt they have a defogger. And we our pressure went first, so I'm going to assume that means we're faster. So I am just going to stealth rocks and then probably just hit it with something. Oh, uh, so yeah, let's stealth rock. If they call mine, maybe I'll taunt it. The next turn. They do Origin Pulse. Cool. Let's freaking go Aerodactyl. Aerodactyl kind of goes in here too, though. Low key, but it's whatever. We're going to get some chip with the Stone Edge. Because we land. We don't even we don't even predicate us missing because we land. We just land. They Ice Beam. Good call. So anything faster than Kyogre. Anything faster than Kyogre. Everything faster than Kyogre. I can go out into you and just fake out, but you're not faster than Kyogre, guaranteed. Um, you're faster than Kyogre. But can I, ah, can I Shadow Ball freely? You know what, I believe, 
um, a close combat would kill. So let's just do it. I don't remember if they had any ghost types. I just remember it was all legendaries. They go Rayquaza, they like they're gonna they're gonna get hurt pretty badly. So by the rocks and then close combat twice. You know what I mean? Just hopefully this knocks it out. Let's go. That's Iron Fist boosted. I think close combat's boosted by Iron Fist. Infernoist ability. I'm not sure. I'm not. A, I'm not a pro. I'm kind of stupid sometimes. I, the last video I uploaded, I swore up and down that Manaphy got Thunderbolt, and it doesn't. I looked it up while I was editing. It does not get it. <laughs> and I made a whole play based off the fact that I assumed it got Thunderbolt, but it doesn't. Anyway, this gives my man a free roost, I guess. He's anticipating I don't have Stone Edge, which is kind of weird, but whatever. Look at that damage. Um, I could go out into. Uh, Frostlass, I guess. Go out into you. No, I think I go out into Frostlass. They do Earthquake. Cool. Yeah, I think a Thunderbolt should do it. Ice Beam probably does it too. Honestly, you know what? I'm calcing it now. What was it gonna? The uh, what's this thing called? I already took too long. I already took too long. Can't do it anymore. I'm just going to assume... I'm going to hope Specs Ice Beam does it. Ah, it doesn't. I should have T-bolted. Oh, well. I mean, now that this thing's dead, I genuinely believe Weavile just kind of, like, bops everything, right? I go out into you, though, and fake out, for sure. Get a kill with my Medic Charm. Hello, brother. We're shiny. Let's see what they go out into after this. Probably... They can go out into Rayquaza, I think. If it gets a flying type move, I don't even know if it does. I don't even know if it does. This is a funny random battle so far, though. We have... Like, literally, Weavile wins if there's no... If there's no Yachi Bear users. Like, Chomp's not Yachi? Or, or Scarf. They go out into Ray Ray. Shiny. Who'd have thought? They do go out into Ray Ray. What do I have? Let me look. I think I might just Zen. Uh, Yeah, I'm going to just Zen. Probably like Zen in a Bullet Punch if they D-Dance or something. I don't know if they can kill me in one hit, but we'll find out. We do land. We are faster as well, which is weird. I didn't see that coming. Dragon Pulse. This won't kill. I refuse to believe. Yes, sir. And he sees our lefties. Let's go. Um, Don't know if Bullet Punch will finish it off. So I'm just going to have to... I think I'm just going to have to Zen again and hope I don't miss. I am faster, which is weird. So maybe this... Maybe it was just... Hmm. How, <laughs> what? If you gen it in Pokemon, why aren't they, you know, Eevee trained? I don't understand. I'm base, what, 70? And I'm just adamant max? And you're base, like, 90, I believe. They go out into you. Brother, I'm part fighting. I'm going for it. If he has protect, then so be it. Also shiny, by the way. Taking up more time. <laughs> Look at that damage. I think Rayquaza dies upon re-entry, doesn't it? Yeah, that was really dumb. <laughs> Pretty sure Rayquaza dies upon re-entry. If he has protect, he has protect. He does not. We're landing. Yes, sir. Bro, Medicham destroys Ubers. Why is he faster than them? I don't know. It's, <laughs> it's almost like I got webs up or something. I didn't. It's almost like I did, though. It's almost like this guy gent in Pokemon but didn't do it right. <laughs> didn't give him EVs. He's just like, no, I just want him shiny. Don't want EVs. Just want to show him off in the trading because he wanted the trade. Uh, when we initially and I, I, I went battle and he's like, all right, let's battle then. And I'm destroying this man. Am I uploading this? Maybe. I don't know. Sounds fun. Medicham destroys Ubers. It actually sounds pretty fun. I might, I might just do it. Who cares if this is like some guy who's never done competitive before? You have to. Have, I feel like if you're genning Pokemon, why is this faster? <laughs> is this scarfed? I don't know. I don't know. What do we have for this? We have you. I'm actually... I kind of just want to go with this and see if I live and Dragon Dance and see what happens.
A rock slide. This shouldn't kill me. They're not scarf, so I will be faster after this. I was going to say as long as I don't flinch, but I didn't want to say it. I didn't want to say it. Um, I don't think the uh, second one will kill me. You know, Marvel scale and all that. Out of the way. Outrage. I think Outrageous might win. I don't know what they had in the back. I'm pretty sure it's Garchomp, Rayquaza, this. I'm pretty sure. Somebody... Oh. This won't kill. I believe. Let's go, D-Knight. That's why we, we have EVs invested in that, I think. I think we only have one HP EV, actually. Because I'm pretty sure we're like... We're just adding a 2v2, 2v2. We're not doing anything crazy. Are they going to DC? Are they DCing? Are they DCing? Are you going to DC? Don't DC. Let me get the D-Dance sweep. He's DCing. Oh, he's deceased. <laughs> <laughs> what am I doing? Am I uploading this 8 minute ass video? I don't think so. Maybe. I might. I don't know. Bloopers? I don't know. He stayed in. I mean, he stayed. We're DCing. We're DDing into the DCing. Into the outrage. Into the uh, front page of YouTube? Hello? No, I'm just playing. <laughs> I am definitely uploading this though now. Because now I can just see it, dude. Meta Cham and Dragonite destroy Ubers. In BDSP. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Focus Sash? Doesn't matter. I forgot. I got rocks up. Don't matter. It don't matter, SpongeBob. Let's get it. Dragonite is busted. <gasps> oh, no. The one thing that can stop the Dragonite sweep. Himself. Will it happen? Dun. Communicating. Oh, no. Rayquaza dies upon re entry, right? Unless it lives on one. Easy. Easy dubs. That's how you destroy Ubers with Medicham and Dragonite in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Apparel. <laughs> if you guys are new to the channel, if you like what you saw and you saw what you like, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you are new. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace. Am I really uploading this? I don't even think I did an intro.